and um, there are some sites. Uh, there's two other cabins. On, if you'd have gone straight down that road, there's two cabins. Visiting Lauren Johnson and Karen Sauer requires a trip through a forest on a rugged, narrow road in north central Minnesota. At the end of it is what they call their village, including their one room, 336 square foot cabin. They live there nine months a year. Days when temperatures outside range from 20 below zero to 100 degrees above it. And they do so all without electricity or running water. The couple has been living this way for the past seven years for a reason. He wanted me to retire at a young age so we could travel. And I said, the only way I can do this is if we move to the cabin because I didn't want to have a house payment or rent or any of those things. The cabin is on Juggler Lake in Becker County. Johnson built it with friends and his ex-wife around 2004. The 66 acres it sits on holds five other buildings, including sheds, an outhouse, summer kitchen, and sauna. I always wanted to keep it simple and small. Um, I fear major projects, and I fear projects that I can't complete. Now, it's one thing to stay at a cabin on weekends, but to make it a full-time lifestyle, many wouldn't be up for the challenge. But not so for Sauer, who grew up in a family of eight on a dairy farm in Bertram, Minnesota. I grew up without running water until I was 12 years old. So not having water in the house or having plumbing, that was not new to me. Five, okay. When they made the move full time, the plan would be to live in the cabin from around May 1st to February 1st and travel the world in February, March, and April. Some friends and family were very skeptical. Your brother-in-law said, I'll give you a year and you won't be back there anymore. Yeah, and then I think another one was a little bit more favorable and I'll <laughs> give you two years. <laughs> but the longer you're back here, I mean, then it really sets in. While they've outlasted all of the predictions, they still admit life can be pretty challenging. Winters are tough, with them having to maintain the three-mile stretch of road leading up to their cabin, plowing snow and trimming trees that hang over the road. Propane and wood keep the cabin warm in the winter, and windows provide the only air conditioning in the summer. But cooking in the separate summer kitchen across the yard helps keep the heat down in warm months. The couple has propane-powered appliances, including a stove and refrigerator in the main cabin. They have a generator that Sauer uses occasionally to plug in a KitchenAid mixer to help her make homemade bread. And while they don't have a television, radio, or computer, they do have cell phones, which they will occasionally use. There is an outdoor urinal and outhouse to go to the bathroom. And bathing is done in a separate sauna right alongside the house. We run a couple of little battery-operated um, showers. That tank is heating up right now in the sun. So we'll drop both of those in there. And we just stand on the deck there. Stand on the deck and... Shower. They work great. The couple says with no television, computers, and neighbors miles away, people will often ask them, what do you do all day? What they don't realize is when you're in town, you turn the faucet on, you have water, okay? Mm -hmm. We need to go out and pump that water. Yep. We need to boil the water on the stove to do dishes. We need to do everything the hard way. So yep. we don't have a microwave. Mm -hmm. So all those little things that people just take for granted, we can't do that here. Johnson adds, summer is also full of yard work and gardening. They have a huge crop of vegetables they grow for their food. They also fish and ride on their tugboat, Little Tug, docked on the lake below. In the winter, there's always wood to chop and evenings are spent talking and reading. They do make occasional trips into town for various appointments and grocery shopping, but they're always looking forward to coming back to the solitude of the woods. However, every February, Sauer and Johnson do a complete 180, leaving the isolation of their Minnesota cabin to travel the world for around three or four months. 
they've visited dozens of countries, but count among their favorite sites the icebergs of Newfoundland, the public bathhouses of Japan, and kayaking the Sea of Cortez. When they travel, the only thing they plan is where they're going, and after that, they just figure it out from there. And because we don't do tours ever, we're off on our own and we get to live there, we say. People mm -hmm. say, well, why are you going for so long? We're going there to live for a couple months. Mm -hmm. And we feel the heartbeat of the local people and we love that. Our major, major priority is travel and enjoying, yeah, yep. travel. Do they miss anything about their old lives working nine to five, living in town? Johnson says he misses a good shower, but Sauer says she doesn't miss a thing. I don't like living in town. I've never liked living in the city. I did it, but I never mm -hmm. enjoyed it. This is my piece of heaven.